Hello everybody and welcome to this special effects tutorial by Aroha Media. In this tutorial, we are going to create the animated effect of sea waves. We start with a new document. Keep the document size and frame rate as default. Now, draw a rectangle on the work area using the shortcut key R. It doesn't matter even if some part of the rectangle is outside the work area. As you can see, there is a lot of space here, where we can create and edit additional drawings if required. This space can be hidden by locking the work area using the keys Ctrl plus Shift plus W. This is called as the toggle key of the work area. Or again put it in the unlock mode, that is, to make the space visible around the work area, use the same toggle key Ctrl plus Shift plus W. Currently, we are working in unlocked work area mode. Now coming back to the rectangle, select and delete the outline of the rectangle. Using the selection tool, that is V, hold down the control key and start working out a saw-like shape on the top of the rectangle. We can see the sharp edges. When done with that, unhold the control key and start smoothening and chaining the sharp edges to curves using the regular selection tool. V is the shortcut key for the selection tool as said before. This will give a better look and feel for the wave animation. This can be useful for your other animation projects as well, once you know the technique. Here you can see, we are also working on the patch outside the work area, which will give a better finish for the final output. Also make some ups and downs in the waves for better effect. So, this is it. Next, select the wave, convert it in a graphic symbol by hitting the F8 key. Now give a name to it. Double click to enter the symbol. In the timeline, insert a keyframe on the 25th frame. This gives a proper duration of 1 second. Now create a shape twin. Go to the first keyframe and add shape hints as seen in the video. This is the same technique we have already seen in previous assignments. Here we add 4 shape hints. A, B, C, D for the four corners of the wave. Place it as shown. Do the same on the 25th keyframe. Now match the positions of the shape hints. Now going to the first keyframe again, add a new shape hint E and place it on the wave near the shape hint A. Now on the 25th keyframe, we'll position it closer to the shape hint C. As studied in the earlier assignments, you'll now better understand that those shape hints will help us in animating the waves. On the screen, you can see some wave sort of movements. Still have to edit it for the better movements. We'll now keep on changing the position of the shape hint E till we get our desired result. Adding one more shape hint, F, set its position on both the keyframes. Check the movement. It's time to change the wave color. Select the C blue color and change it on both the keyframes. Add a new layer, select and duplicate the original wave layer holding the Alt key. Lock the top layer and edit the first layer. Choose a light blue shade from the palette as seen in the video. Fill it in the both first and last keyframes. Also, 
change the wave point's position for the first layer so that it will differentiate the first wave with the second wave. The only purpose for this is that waves shouldn't look that flat and will give a good depth to the animation. Replace the last keyframe with a copy of the first keyframe. So now, there is no movement in the wave at the back. Hide the locked second layer. Adjust the hints in the visible layer. Hints will turn to green once adjusted on proper points. Now it's working well as expected. Exit the symbol. Create 4 to 5 copies of that wave. We have to now adjust every wave. Let's start with the lower one. Scale it up and push it down. We are now working in the work area lock mode where we can see only the output section. We'll make some changes in each and every duplicate wave to avoid showing that they are copies and will look different. As shown in the video, you keep on changing scale and positions. You can also stretch, rotate and push on the right or left side of the work area. Now we'll also vary the timing of every duplicate wave. Animation will remain the same for every wave, but only because we are making them start at different frames, they will all look like different animations. In the timeline, insert blank keyframes by pressing F5 on the 25 frame. Hit Ctrl plus Enter and take a look. You can see animated seawater. These are supposed to be very easy steps. There are some more changes to go. Here, you are aware that the changes done in one single symbol will apply to each and every duplicate of the symbol. This is always going to be plus point of this technique. Select all the waves together and stretch it on the right and again place it to the center. We here add a new layer. Lock the wave layer and draw a rectangle on the new layer. Delete the outline. Select the rectangle and press Shift plus F9 for the color palette. We choose Linear Gradient Type. Rotate the gradient map to 90 degrees using the Transform tool. Shortcut key F. We have to create a blue gradient. This will work as a background for the C animation. Select same C blue from the gradient in the palette. And now, vary the blue in dark and light shade as shown. It's done. Continue with the Free Transform tool and match the size of the rectangle to the work area. Here, our gradient looks like the sky in the background. Lock the background layer so that we can work on the wave layer more. For the rearmost wave, we select the color alpha option from the properties and keep the opacity value low. Similarly, will alter the opacity value for other rear waves as shown in the video. Rearmost wave will hold the lowest opacity value. You'll notice that changing the alpha, we get more depth in the entire scene. Press Ctrl plus Enter for the exact preview. The result is looking good. Create one duplicate of wave in the front. Scale it up by 10% using the shortcut key Ctrl plus Alt plus S and move it downwards. It will be closer to the screen. According to that, we'll adjust some of the wave's positions. And also change the timing for the new wave layer. Here, again we need to change the alpha value for the second wave. Set it to 95. Ctrl plus Enter and we see more improved result on the screen. Twice, scale up the first wave by 10%.
and adjust the position again. Preview the result. Always remember that the waves farthest from us should be the smallest and the ones closest to us should be the biggest in size. So, we'll again scratch the last wave layer and push it upwards. Duplicate the last wave, position it in the last. Change the timing from 5 to 10. Stretch and skew it a little with free transform tool. We are now completely done with the changes. Now, let's preview the animation. Working on some minute details gives us an improved and pleasing look. Our seawater animation is complete. Hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial by Aroha Media. So, go ahead, try it by yourself and let's see how it works out for you. Thank you.